to understand being a Christmas holiday. I don't know, I was expecting much praise to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Can we do it once again? And this time do it like you mean it, that he is the King of Kings. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Amen. Thank you so much. Let's declare that Jesus Christ is Lord as we sit in his presence and hear what he has for us today. Lifting up our Bibles, let's declare together Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is my Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Thank you so much. You can get seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Merry Christmas. How was your Christmas yesterday? We thank God. It was good. Praise the name of the living God. The much he blessed you with to celebrate, it is worth thanksgiving. Amen. And we thank God that he has given us another great opportunity to sit in his presence, to be found present today in the house of God, in his presence where there is fullness of joy. Amen. This morning I'm born again. The Lord Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I always say it is my greatest blessing to declare that I am a child of God. For in salvation, there is victory. In salvation, there is peace. In salvation, there is blessings. In salvation, there is healing. A package of great things. Praise the Lord. Together, let's open our Bibles in the book of Exodus. Exodus, we are reading from chapter number 15. Verse 1 to 11, and we will be jumping to verse 20 and 21. And we will read the rest of the scriptures as we continue. Praise the name of the living God. I can see it's, it's already on the screen. And them that are opening their pages, they are already there. Let's read the word of God together. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. I will praise him. My father's God, I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army, he has cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drawn into the, in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. Your right hand, O oh Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O oh Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. And in the greatness of excellence, you have overthrown those who rose against you. You sent forth your wrath. It consumed them like stubble. And with the blast of your nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright like a heap. The depths concealed, concealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My desire shall be satisfied on them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. You blew with your wind, the sea covered them. 
they sank like lead in the mighty waters. Praise the name of the living God. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods. Who is like you, glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises. Doing wonders. Our God does wonders. Praise the Lord. Verse 20. Then Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took the timpru in the hand. And all the women went after her with the timpru's and with the dancing. And Miriam answered them, sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. Again, let's open our Bibles in the book of Luke. Luke chapter number 6 and verse 45. Luke chapter number 6 verse 45. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good. And an evil man out of his evil treasure of his heart. His mouth speaks. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your word is great. Powerful and truth. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, this is our heart's desire today, that you minister into our hearts through your word. By your Holy Spirit, God, give us to understand the scriptures. Give us to comprehend the revelation of your word today. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray that which you ordained for us today, you shall bring it to pass in our lives greatly. In the name of Jesus Christ, Spirit of the living God, take preeminence and glorify Christ in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the plans of the wicked enemy shall not prevail in our service today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we've come to bless the name of the Lord. We've come to be blessed of the Lord and it shall be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our today's topic declares a song of triumph. Whew. Hallelujah. A song of triumph. What is triumph? A great victory or a great achievement? Praise the name of the living God. And because over the year 2021, since January, we are in December, the 26th day, almost to the finishing line of the year 2021. And we are here to celebrate and declare a song of triumph. For God has given us victory. Against the plans of darkness. God has given us victory. Against what the enemy intended. To hinder us this year. To afflict us this year. God has given us great victory. He has given us good health. He has given us sound mind. And we are here celebrating the victory he has given unto us. The same God. He has given us to achieve the goals that we had for the year. He has given us to achieve the plans we had for the year. And therefore this morning, we can afford to declare a song of triumph. Praise the name of the living God. And a song, a words put in a musical rhythm to portray what it is in the heart. Praise the name of the living God. A song declares, this is what is in my heart. 
like a worship song, declares our love to God. Declares that we acknowledge the supremacy of God. We acknowledge his power and we lift up our hands to him and declare, God, you are great and mighty. You are so faithful. Indeed, you are so good because your heart acknowledges his goodness, his faithfulness in your life, in your family. And this, the lifting of our hands, portrays what he's in our hearts, our love to God. A song of praise declaring of his great works. A song of praise declares, God, you are great, and great are your works. Mighty are your works. Wonderful are your works. I'm here to praise you, for you've done great and mighty things in my life. A song declares, we have heard many songs, love songs, that somebody sings to portray or to express her love or his love to someone that he loves. We have songs that portrays the tradition, the culture of each and every tribe, of each and every nation. Her song declares what is in the heart. The secular music declares what is in their hearts. We have heard songs that are made of insults because that is what is so abundant in their hearts. Her song declares what is in your mind, what is in your soul, what is in your spirit. That is what a song declares. Praise the name of the living God. And in every song, people sing out of a situation that they have encountered. People sing about a victory that they have encountered. People sing of a success that they have encountered. Some people sing of their deep fellowship with God when they behold the beauty of the heavenlies, they declare how sweet it is to be in the presence of God. Her song declares how far you've come from and how far you have seen the greatness of God. Her song declares your relationship with God. Praise the name of the living God. And therefore, throughout the year, we have encountered challenges that you can afford to declare a song, how God gave you victory. Throughout the year, we have encountered many things that you can sing about it. As long as you are alive, as long as your heart is beating, you must have a song, not just the songs that people have composed. Yes, some songs fit in our lives. Some songs fit in our situations. But everyone can afford to declare a song of triumph to God. Because you cannot say, I've not encountered any victory throughout the year. You cannot say, I've not encountered any achievement throughout the year. And therefore, every one of us has a song of triumph. Can you turn to your neighbor and tell your name? Your neighbor, you have a song of triumph to the Lord. And therefore, as we have come almost to the end of the year, because a song tells what is in your heart. Are the songs that we sing together in the church are the words, the words that are in your heart. Are the words in that song that we praise and the song you worship God with. Are the same words in your heart. This is a time to examine your heart. 
had these words through to my heart. That if I went through any challenge, I can declare if it was not of the Lord who was on my side, I would have not made it this far. Or oh, in your heart, because of the challenges you've been going through, it is full of bitter words. Your heart is full of murmuring and complaining. In your heart, you are like this year. It is the worst year that I do not want to remember. What are the words exactly in your heart? Because of the challenges, the pain, the shame, maybe you went through. How was your attitude towards the challenges you went through? Have they deposited in your heart bitter words that your mouth can sing of the goodness of the Lord? Yet your heart is full of ungratefulness about the year. Yet your heart is full of bitter words that when you are taught to talk about what is in your heart, people will wonder if you were the one who was dancing. If you were the one who was praising, if you were the one who was lifting your hands, what are the words of your heart? Because the words of your heart are the words to compose the song of triumph to the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. Yes, the words of your heart are in a position to make you a song are in a position to tell about your gratitude to God. Praise the name of the living God. And therefore, as you examine your heart, can you find thankfulness in your heart? For the goals that you achieved, you think it was about your hard work. It was about how much you fasted and prayed. You think it was about your wisdom and knowledge. What does your mind tell you when you look at the goals that you have achieved? Do you beat your chest and feel, if I did not do it, this would have not happened? Does your heart acknowledge it was by the grace of God it was by the power of God. It was by the mercies of God. Because if you acknowledge that, then your song of triumph, it will be unto God for his glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. And therefore in the book of Luke, it tells, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Let your mouth speak the glory of God. Let your mouth speak the greatness of God. His faithfulness that he has been with you throughout the year. You declare his faithfulness. That he has been faithful to you the 12 months of the year. Praise the name of the living God. And in the book of Exodus... Let me begin from chapter 14, verse 30, it says. So the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 30, it declares that Israel... So, the salvation of the Lord, that he saved them from the hands of their enemies. The Egyptian army that was running after them, they saw salvation of the Lord. Have you seen the salvation of the Lord in your life? Have you seen God's salvation in your family, in your business, in your workplace? Can you sing a song? Of the salvation of the Lord. Have you seen him delivering you from the plans of darkness? From the snares of darkness? Do you acknowledge this great salvation? 
that God did not allow the enemy to attack you, the enemy to swallow you, the enemy to finish you. He did not allow and therefore he saved you. Praise the Lord. Verse 31, thus Israel saw the great work which the Lord had done in Egypt. Have you seen the great work of God all around your life? Can you talk about the great works of God? Yes, you were sick, but he healed you. Yes, you were praying about it, and he answered your prayer. That's a great work. Yes, you had nothing, and he provided for you. That's a great work of God. Yes, you were in pain, and he has taken the pain away. That is the great work of God. Anything in our lives, any achievement, it is the great works of God. Nothing of our own. The Bible declares that we can do nothing without him. And therefore, whatever thing we have achieved, it is the great work of God that takes us now to sing a song of triumph. And after they acknowledged it was the Lord, because the Bible declares, so the Lord saved Israel. And Israel saw the great works of God. Chapter 15, this is their song that begins with this word. Then, after God had done it for them, after they saw the salvation of the Lord, after they saw the victory that God gave them, after they saw the great works of God, then they sang a song of triumph. Today, have we seen the great works of God? Then we can sing a song of triumph. Praise the name of the living God. For every victory, sing a new song to the Lord. The Bible declares that they sang and declared, I will sing to the Lord. Where to the Lord? Because they acknowledged it has been his power that they were delivered from Egypt. And they declared, I will sing to the Lord. Not to Moses, who was sent by God to go and help them come out of Egypt. Not to their leaders who used to lead them. Not to anyone. Not to Pharaoh who released them. But they declared, I will sing to the Lord. And therefore, for every victory, sing to the Lord. For every success, sing to the Lord. Because let me tell you, sometimes, if you are not careful, it is very easy to praise people. It is very easy to declare your praise to someone. Because God always works with people. Like the people of Israel. It was Moses who lifted the rod and stretched forth his hand. And the Red Sea was parted and there was a dry path for them to walk through. But if it was not by the power of God, the rod of Moses would have not made any difference. Therefore, do not praise somebody and declare, if it was not so and so, who did this and this for me, I would have not made it. If it was not so and so, who connected me to this connection, I would have not made it. If it was not so and so, who introduced me to this and this, I would have not made it. Yes, there is always a hand of man in every blessing. In every miracle, but without God, nothing, absolutely nothing can come to pass. To me, thank you so much that you came in for me 
when I was in need. Thank you so much. You did it for me. But together with your help, together with that thing you gifted me, it was all about God. And together we give God all the glory. Praise the name of the living God. And therefore, as you look at the things you have achieved, sing to the Lord. The Bible many times declares, I will sing to the Lord. Not just singing, but singing to the Lord. Let your song be specifically to God. Let your praises be unto God. Let your glory be unto God. As you open your mouth, declare, this is the Lord's doing. And I'm singing a song of triumph unto him. For he is God and there is none like him. And they continued to sing their song. And they declared, he has thrown into the sea. You know, sometimes you might even find yourself praising your business. Ah, my business has been doing good this year. My job, ah, I'm getting a good salary, a good income. They did not praise the sea. That the army was drawn in. That the army sank in like an iron. They did not praise the sea. They declared their song is unto God. If your family was of great help to you, sing your song to God. Just appreciate them. If your neighbor was of great help, appreciate them and declare it was God through you who commanded you to be a blessing. You know, sometimes people do some things, good things, to cover up what is in their hearts. If you only you can know that the person you think you are praising has been so good to you. Little don't you know, maybe it is circumstances that they are forcing them to be of help to you. Maybe they are just obeying because God has not given them sleep or peace until they become a blessing to you. And therefore, in every achievement, let your song be unto God and to declare, I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously unto me. And sometimes somebody might be saying, you know what? You are talking of achievements. You are talking of goals. You are talking of plans. But in my life, I have nothing at this point to celebrate. Let me encourage you. The children of Israel, they were dancing and singing in the wilderness because of what they had seen God has done to them. He had delivered them from Egypt, the land of pain. And here they are, they have just crossed the Red Sea. And at that point, they were singing. Yet, they had not seen the promised land. Yet, they had not tasted the milk and honey that was flowing in the promised land. And therefore, they danced and praised God. I want to believe they had faith that if God can make a way, a dry path in the midst of the sea. This same God will take us to the promised land. This same God will make us to enjoy the honey and the milk that is flowing in, the land, in that land. They want to believe this is where a singer sang and declared, I've seen you move the mountains and I believe I will see you do it again. You made a way where there was no way. And I believe I'll see you do it again. Praise the name of the living God. And therefore, in your current situation, you can still praise God and declare if it was not of the Lord who was on my side. Psalms chapter number 124. This was a song that was sung by David. And it was not a song that was about the blessings that God had blessed him. It was not a song of healing. 
it was a song declaring, if it was not the Lord who was on my side, the enemy would have swallowed me. This was a powerful song to declare when the enemy was too strong for me, when I could not fight back, when I did not know what to do. The Lord was on my side and he gave me victory. And therefore David together with his team, they sang a song to the Lord and declared, God, indeed you've been with us. And Sarah came sang and declared, that have made it through. I don't know how I did it, but when Jehovah took it over, whew, can we sing the song together? I made it through, and I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that, that is why I made it through. Can we sing it again? I made it through, and I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and thou, that is why I made it through. There is a song to the Lord, that when I only saw darkness, there, there was no way out. I don't know how I came out of it. It is a song to declare. That when we do not know what to do, God knows exactly what to do. And he has taken us through it. And here we are here to declare. He makes ways where there seems to be no way. Praise the name of the living God. Yes, it has been too tough. You don't know how you have managed to pay your children's school fees. After the economy has been too bad. But you have come this far. You have made it to pay fees. You have made it to pay rent. You have made it to have food on the table every day. We have made it through. We don't know how we have come this far December. But because Jehovah took it over, he took it over and provided. He took it over and opened a way. He took it over and he did great things. Miracles. Jehovah took it over. And that is how we have made it through. I made it through. And I don't know how I did it. I made it through. And I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know. Jehovah took it over. And that is how I made it through. Ooh, hallelujah. If and if you have no any other song, you can declare, we have made it through. Not because we put on our masks, masks well, but having been moving from this place to another, and we did not encounter this sickness, we have made it through. The pandemic, because Jehovah took it over, and he gave us great victory, and we can stand and declare, I have made it through. When my colleagues were sick, I was not sick. When my friends fall into it, I did not fall into it, because Jehovah took it over. And here I am praising him, for he took it over. Praise the name of the living God. And to mine sang and declared, I shall arise. Kufika hapa, ni mkono wa mungu. Ume ni beba, I shall arise. Kufika hapa, ni mkono wa mungu. 
Umeni beba, umeni beba, umeni beba, ni mkono wa mu. Umeni beba. Munataka kumanisha ni mimi sidao na ikiwa ngumu. Can we sing together? Was it easy for you? Haijawa raisi Kufika hapa Ni mkono wa mungu Umeni beb Haijawa raisi Kufika hapa Ni mkono wa mungu Hallelujah Umeni beb the living God. Those are songs composed by other people. But we can join them and declare it has been the grace of God. It has been the power of God. Amen. And therefore we can sing and declare it has been the Lord. And they continue to sing and they declare the Lord is my strength and my song. It has been by the strength of God. Not by our power, neither by our might. But by the spirit of God. It has been the strength of God. Because if he did not strengthen you to do it, he would have not made it this far. If he did not strengthen your body, even to attend today's service, he would have not made it. Coming to church is not just a normal thing. Mm. It takes the strength of God to come into his presence, right. to dance in his presence, right. to sing in his presence, right. and to declare it is your strength that has brought me this far, God. Hallelujah. And therefore, I can praise you. And he declares, the Lord is my song. Mm. Without God, you cannot declare any song. Because every song is out, every song is out of achievement. Every song is out of his great works. And therefore, the Lord is my song. Can somebody declare the Lord is my song? Praise the Lord. And they declared, I will praise him. I will give him the glory. I will honor him for every achievement in this year. I will praise him. Amen. For every success, I will declare his glory. For the Lord is great. Amen. And they declared how the enemy was declaring. I will do this and this. I will pursue them. I will catch up with them. I will take them back to Egypt. You do not know the negative words. The plans the enemy had for you. But Jehovah took it over. And he turned it around. Amen. And the opposite occurred. What the enemy intended for you and me. It did not come to pass. Because the enemy had great plans. Plans to bring you down. Plans to afflict you. Plans to cause... Of 
Egyptians when, when they were running right behind them. Right behind them to get hold of them. To kill them, to destroy them. To take them back to be slaves. But God was laughing at them. God has been laughing at our enemies. Them that said we, did, we will not see the end of the year. We have come to eat now. And here we are celebrating. Because God has given us victory. The enemy is full of shame. It has turned around back to them. And we are here to declare a song of triumph. For the Lord has done it. They thought that you shall be jobless by now. But you are still working and honey. They thought that they will close your business when they rose against you. But God has been on your side. And your business is still standing. Your family is still standing. Your marriage is still standing. All your possessions are still intact. For the Lord our God is a mighty man of war who turns around the plans of the enemy. Praise the name of the living God. Ooh. And they declared the works of God. That you blew and the wind clasped them in the sea. My God, can you declare what God has done when they were fighting against you? And they had meetings and meetings about you. But because God was not in their meeting, he has turned it around and he has overthrown them. What they intended for you, he has cancelled. He has cancelled. He has cancelled. And here we are to celebrate. Ooh. Praise the name of the living God. When they thought they will finish you, God was not with them. They did not know what God can do. They did not know that our God does the opposite. They did not know the greater plans that God has for us. They saw it in the physical. God had it in the spiritual. And the spiritual overshadows the physical. And they are left with the shame. For our God is a mighty man of war who gives great victory. Hallelujah. And they declared who is like you, our God. Among the gods, we have seen people going to other gods to seek for power, to seek for help. But their plans did not prevail. We have seen people going to God fathers, but they have not made it. But when I went to my God, he has given me victory. And therefore I declare, their gods have failed. But my God does not prevail. And therefore there is none like my God. Can somebody lift your hand and declare, there is no God like my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is like you. Glorious in holiness. holiness. Ooh, our God full of wonders. Is a wonderful God. Yes. Wholesome in glory. Glorious. Oh, the splendor of the king. Yes. The beauty of his holy throne. Yes. No one like him. Oh, oh when I will behold his beauty. Oh. The splendor. Oh, Rakatalabo. Yes. I can declare there is no one like him. All the gods are full of darkness and yes. evil things. Yes. But my God, he's glorious. glorious. He's beautiful. Hallelujah. He's wonderful. Yes. Excellent is in his hands. Woo. Glorious God. Hallelujah. In holiness. Mm. When you behold the beauty of God. How he has beautified your life. Mm. How he has beautified your business. How he has beautified your family. When they thought that
that darkness and shame covers you. God comes in and he pours his glory. And he pours his presence. He pours his favor. And you can declare glorious. He is my God. He has taken shame from me. He has taken dirt from me. He has lifted me from the dust. And here I am declaring. Yes, he is glorious. So am I his child. And this far we have come to declare that our God is glorious, fearful. He praises Shakatalabu. The praises of God cannot match any other God's praise. The praises of our God are so wonderful, so great. The praises of God are full of his presence. The praises of God can match no any other king, for he is the king of kings. Amen. People praise kings and declare, oh, mutuku furaisi, hishi milele, wongo tupu, kuna mutuku furaisi waku hishi milele. It is only our God who is fearful in praises, doing wonders. God has done great wonders. Things that no one can explain. How he, he did it. How you came out through powerfully. How you came out strong. How you have endured it to the finishing line. And you have come to the victory. Wonders upon wonders. Wonders every day. Wonders in our businesses. Wonders in our families. Wonders all around. Doing wonders. This is our God. It was a great wonder to make a dry path in the midst of the sea. The same God is still alive. His power is still the same to do wonders. He has done it for us. He will do it again. Because of time, after Moses finished the song, can I borrow your timbre? After Moses finished singing the song, Miriam felt something, thank you, Mama. Something is still missing in this song. I need to spice up this song. And Miriam stood and she took a tibre like this one. I want to believe it is it is sounded sweet like this one. It sounded good like this one, the drums and the keyboard. It sounded good. And Miriam took hold of it. And she repeated the same words. That sing to the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. Yes. The same words. But Miriam by the spirit of God. Because she was a prophetess. She declared, yes it has been good. But deep inside of me I feel. There is something that we can do to spice up this song. And this is why we always have these things. And she stood and all the women followed her. I like how women celebrate victory. Even in the time of David, when he killed Goliath, women from all the cities, they came out and they began to declare the victory that God had given them. And in this, in this time, Miriam rose up with that temper, ah, and ladies followed her. And they sang the same song. And they danced the same song. And therefore I want to encourage you, in the singing of your song, the song of triumph to the Lord, spice it with some music, with something that can produce sound, something that can praise God, something that can declare a beautiful praise to the King of Kings, Yes, your words are powerful, but you can hide it up by dancing and shaking your body until you sweat, not because you are digging a ground, but because you are dancing to the Lord, declaring God, if it had not been you, I'm here dancing because you have given me victory. I'm here jumping because you have given me victory. I can dance. I can shout, I can praise you, for you have given
given me victory. Hallelujah. And they praised God. And I want to believe the spicing up of the song made the song more beautiful. And therefore in your singing, this is our last point. In your singing, in your house together with your family. In your singing wherever you shall be. Even in your workplace. Sometimes when they have music, dance to the Lord and declare the Lord has been so good to me. And I cannot be ashamed of dancing for him. Amen. I cannot be ashamed of dancing and praising my God. Amen. For he has given me victory. Amen. And again he will give me victory. Amen. If they danced in the wilderness, you can dance even to your current situation Amen. and declare the God who has done this and that before. He will do it again and again to, to me. And I will live to praise the Lord Amen. with a song of triumph. Amen. Not just a song, but a song of triumph. Amen. To declare the victory, the success that God has given unto me. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Can we be standing up?